Hello and welcome back to our Revit Architecture 2009 CAD clips on our architectural uh, beam family. Uh, in our last lesson we created our abutments and everything seems to be working and flexing well with our beam width and depth and now we want to just uh, add in some neat um, yes no parameters to control visibility of these abutments and again you can apply this to any other um, family condition that you might have so inside of my project file I'm going to pick on my beam object and say edit the family go back into that family editor okay and this is a really easy one um, and I'm sure you can find great use for this in your own families and again you can go in and open up an existing family that you might have downloaded or uh, someone else made that's very complex and you say well I just want to be able to turn on or off different parts of the family I don't want to model anything I just want to be able to go in and say you know turn this or this part off or this part on or off and so then this part really doesn't this lesson doesn't include any modeling it's just some really powerful and quick ways of turning visibility on and off for different parts of any family that you want again Revit structure MEP or architecture so watch how quickly we do this within the family editor we're going to go into the family types to create a new parameter we're gonna add a new parameter and it's going to be called um, right abutment and you could also call it right abutment visibility okay let's even do that visibility okay I'm gonna do a cut and paste with that control C and I'm going to say um, group it under graphics okay when I go to edit that um, I want it to be instant specific I want to be able to do it on any one beam without the other ones being affected this is the clincher here it is a yes no parameter okay this is just the name this is where we group it under under the properties dialog box instance yes no done okay there it is right um, there okay there's our new parameter now we'll add another one in. I'm going to go in here and go control V to paste the last one in. Go back to the front and change it to say left abutment visibility. Okay. It's also going to be grouped under graphics. It's going to be instance and it's going to be a yes no. Have a look. Hit OK. Okay. By default I want them turned on. Hit apply. Hit OK. Believe it or not, there that's just about all there is to it other than adding that to the um, objects themselves. Now, I need to know which is right and which is left. I've been kind of spinning this guy around. I don't know which is the right or left. So I'm going to look from the front view, click out, and all I have to do now is click on the right hand side object that I want to turn on and off. Watch how we do this. Go to the properties, that's all, just regular old properties, and say where it says visibility. By default, you can turn on or off that visibility but I want to control it with the parameters so what I'm going to do is go way over here okay to the parameters uh, column and click on here and control the visibility of that with the parameter right abutment visibility yes or no done okay now the visibility kind of gets grayed out it's controlled by a parameter hit OK done pick on the left side um, extruded object go to the regular old properties okay go to the visibility way over here and say you're controlled by the left abutment visibility hit OK hit OK and done okay now we can flex the model in this guy as well okay move it over to the side a little bit when you um, flex visibility it doesn't disappear it just turns kinda gray watch what happens I'm gonna go to my parameters and I'm gonna say right abutment turn it off hit apply you see it goes kinda gray okay left abutment apply goes kinda gray now the question now is by default when you draw that beam okay um, do you want the visibility to be on or off the very first time you bring it into your project do you want these abutments to be turned on or off
that's where you can decide here whether the default is on or off. Okay, I'm just going to leave the default to be on, purely up to you. You can change this anytime you want by going back into the family editor and adjusting that and hit OK and done. I'm going to do my good old habit of saving. Okay, you don't have to save it. If you save it, you're saving it to the hard drive. You can still push it out without saving it because maybe I don't want to save it. Maybe I just want to keep testing it before I save it. Okay, you might not purposely not want to save it because you don't think it's going to work. Therefore, you don't want to save it. I'm confident it's going to work, so I did a save. Load to the project. It's going to warn me, you know, this already exists. Yes, I do want to um, redo that. So I'm going to pick on these windows inside of here. Okay, click out. Now watch what I can do. I can pick on this beam in any view. I can go to the properties of it and guess what? Right abutment, left abutment hit OK, turns them on or off. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, you can do that with any part. Okay, so now um, what happens if I draw another one? Let's go, I can either pick component and select it off of my list here, or I can drag it in from my project browser. I'm going to draw another one in over here. Click and draw that one in. Hit escape, escape. By default, of course, because I said, remember I said by default I want them turned on, it adds the abutments in. This guy, now I can click on this and say, okay, I only want the, um, the right abutment, I don't want to see the left one, click out, and then you can see that. Okay, the right one is on, the left one is off. Okay, pick on here, same thing, go the other way, the left is on, the right is off, hit OK, and done. Click out. So at this point, I thought, well, that's not too bad. I, I'm just about done. The only problem is these, these lines, and that ends up being our biggest challenge. Because I thought, well, all I have to do is go back inside of this family and do a join geometry. But watch what happens. Let's demonstrate that right now. If I click on here, and I go into Edit My Family and say Yes. I'm going to go to the front view, okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use join geometry and join this guy to that guy, gets rid of the line. Join this guy to that guy, gets rid of the line. In 3D view, there you go. SD for shaded, okay, works pretty good, looks a little bit stubby, okay. Hitting escape, click on here, oops, pick on here, okay, and I can still stretch this you know, etc. Et by moving it around and now you say well there that works all I have to do now is save it and then load it to my project okay the problem is and you'll have to trust me on this one I don't want to go too far is if you do that and then you turn off or on one of the sides then what happens is the it turns off everything and that's maybe something that Revit needs to fix Okay, so we don't want to do that. So I'm going to undo this back. Okay, and then I'm going to save this. Okay, and then I'm going to load it out to my project here again just to see what has transpired. Okay, go back to my views over here, and I'm okay because I can go in here and pick on here and turn these on or off. Okay. If you follow through with that join geometry, the problem is when you click on here and you turn them on and off, it'll turn everything off because they're joined. So you can solve the, the problem of getting rid of the, um, the seam line inside of here, but the only problem is that works as long as you don't want to turn one of your sides on or off. If you try to turn one side on or off and that object is used join geometry with anything else it'll turn everything it's joined to on or off with it and that's not what we want to do so that's where I thought hmm how am I going to solve this problem so we do solve the problem by using some model lines so uh, tune back in our next lesson where we will use model lines to have uh, a workaround on our abutment line work